I was going to sing some Backstreet Boys, but at the last second, I decided against it. So welcome to episode 19 of the you No Holds Barred podcast. You I liar. Know. You're a liar. I know. Look, everybody, he's a phony. A he's big... a big, fat phony. Hey, sir. I prefer husky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works, too. All right, whatever. It's episode 19 of the No it's Holds Barred episode podcast. episode 19, which We're... means that... In two weeks. In two weeks... It would be episode 20, exactly. and it would be the anniversary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big <sighs> deal coming It's up. huge. Big it's big. It's, 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 big. it's big in both of our hearts and in both of our pants. Ooh. And, uh, exactly. Nick's, Nick's looking to make sure, too. <laughs> Hello to all of our no viewers on our Ustream channel as but well. you can watch us on the recording. Exactly. So go back and do it. I'm pointing at you. Oh, my God. This is Ah, back to Satan you go. Nick's killing flies down here, and he's he's going <laughs> going a little crazy on it. So yes, thanks to uh, our nobody that views us on UStream. You can go back, you can watch the recordings on UStream. You can watch it on the YouTube channel, of course, youtubecom slash barred podcast, noholdsbarred.net 63net which I have not. <laughs> no, <laughs> you have not forever. We are at least three podcasts behind on both. <laughs> The reason why I have not updated the site yes. is because I'm currently in between places to live. It's true. And I do not have a reliable internet connection. It's hard it's hard to right keep it now. It's hard to keep a desktop computer in a car. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's a little difficult. It's a little bit difficult. It's true. Yes. But that so, might be changing soon. Exactly. So that's later on in the program. Exactly. Let us, start. Let us get started. Before we get started, I suppose, a little reminder, listen to the last podcast we did, which was Last Fan Standing, episode number 11, where we interviewed maritime professional wrestling star Sexton Phoenix, otherwise known as Troy Merrick, IRL, in real life. Yeah. Uh, he was a great interview. We really, really enjoyed it, and it's been getting a little bit of traction, which is nice. If you haven't watched that uh, podcast, listen to that interview, please go do that. We think it's good. It's in one big one hour chunk and uh, if you're a wrestling fan especially in the maritimes we think you'll enjoy it yes you'll enjoy it he's a good guy if you have not seen him live go twin city wrestling find one of his shows yeah or just or just come yeah, to the exactly. next twin city wrestling twin show city wrestling show july 26th That's the big x the big x uh that is a free show it's built into the cost of your ticket to the exhibition yes, that day so uh come to the big x in bridgewater and come see that show. Going to be a great show. Tag team main event. Twin City Wrestling. Hey. Tag Wars. Justin will be there. Look at him with his TCW shirt exactly. on. I'll be there in the sound booth, which is probably right next to the gate. If you see me, jump up and say, hey, go Nick. And I'll go, yeah. Exactly. And I'll be wearing the. Possibly like, through the wireless microphone. So it would be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It'll be great. And then. Uh, Poor, I hope I didn't break your speakers. <laughs> and then poor Caillou, <laughs> Caillou the Dink will just be like, oh, but oh, that's my wireless microphone. Oh, Caillou. Yes, I will be in the Twin City Wrestling shirt that's too small for me, but <laughs> that's okay. I will definitely be there with my hat and my TCW t-shirt and come over and say hello. Get your picture taken with a real life dude that has a podcast. <laughs> there <you go. laughs> so there you go. So let's get this clusterfuck started. Of course, we have our beer and it's tradition. So we're going to now crack our beer before we get started. <laughs> I hit the microphone twice. And it's always a tradition that we smoke our microphones with the beer that we are opening. Well, you see, since I haven't had beer for like two weeks... Because my current predicament, I'm a. It's li- been closer to three. Yeah, I'm a little bit. Uh... <laughs> You're a little out of practice, and shit is popping off upstairs. <laughs> I no, mean, what the hell is that? It sounded like the floor just farted. It definitely did sound like the floor just farted. All right, we're like we're already like a half hour into this podcast, and we haven't really <laughs> talked about anything yet. We're almost five minutes in. That's oh, kind of yeah. crazy. Okay. All right, so let's get rolling here. Um. It seems like it's tradition at the beginning of every podcast that we start talking about technical difficulties. Uh, it seems to be the norm for any podcast. It's <laughs> just we have a new piece of technology every single time. It's, it's just, true. It, it's 
a cornucopia of awesomeness when we come down here because it's like, how long are we going to sit here and like joke around, just friggin' pull our dicks until stuff works? Exactly. And it sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes it starts working and we just keep pulling our dicks anyway <laughs> because why, cause why not? Yeah. Um, but this time it was, it was a little bit of an extra level because my internet modem crapped out finally. And the router was never that good to begin with. Oh, God, no. So I went down to East Link this morning uh, and got a replacement. I just took the old modem back. They do it for free. So I just took the old modem back and was like, here, I've had this modem for years. And uh, it finally is not working the way that I needed to be working. So let's let's get me a new one. Which is good of them. It I mean, is. it's something that they should do for free. If you have an old modem and you're faithful to them, you didn't switch over to Bell when they came knocking, knocking, exactly. knocking, knocking on Heaven's door. They've, and they've come knocking multiple times, too. So And they're like, please take us service. And you're like, no, <laughs> no chicken for you. Exactly. You no chicken home. for you. And then I jerk off in their general direction um but yeah so the but the technical difficulties kind of took took on a new a new light i went down to get the new modem first of all our east link account is not in my name it's in mom's name so yeah exactly so i had to speak to virtually everyone until like the ceo of fucking east link (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> just for them to replace a modem, just for them to give me a new modem on an account that they knew we already had. Yeah. So it was it was a bit it was it was a little couple of hoops to jump through, but you know what? It was okay. Eventually, they gave me the modem. Which yeah, well, uh, you know yeah. Okay, good, great, good. A one number one exactly. Until I actually got the modem back up here, <sighs> I plug it in. No lights on the front of it. Oh no. And I was like, okay, well, they told me to wait like 15 minutes, so maybe it just magically turns on after 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so I'm sitting here uh, fucking twiddling my thumbs, waiting to see if the modem's going to turn on, and it doesn't. So I call the activations line anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that would like, be the main thing to do. Exactly. So I call the activations line anyway, and the activations line is like, yeah, your name's not on this account, so we can't do anything. <laughs> so I was like, oh, motherfucker! Son of a bitch. So... <laughs> So I got so mom had to call. Mom called East Link, just the regular customer service. Yeah. And was like, Can I add my son onto the account so that he can we can at least do things? Oh, most definitely. Because she's just like, I don't want to have to deal with the technical bullshit and he knows that stuff, so can I we add him on? So no problem. So now I'm added onto the account, which means I can add all the titty channels and sports packages and stuff onto Ooh. our cable. <laughs> exactly. So our cable package is gonna be real fun. <laughs> Can I bunk with you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. F- I'll find. I'll find a way to split our cable signal from here to Liverpool, so you can also have <laughs> just it. satellite direct link it exactly down. Hey, I got the upload, uplink, and downlink friggin' bands up, now. Up, for, uplink and downlink. <laughs> uplink and downlink bands for and, Rogers and East West Now Link. No, no, <laughs> soon. No, Justin, fuck your joke. <laughs> <laughs> Go home, Justin. Your joke. <laughs> well, getting started on this beer. Um, so yeah, so the the modem, but the modem they gave me was a dud. Really? So yeah. So I was like, okay. So I go back down to East Link to get a good modem. So then they finally gave me a good modem. I refused to leave the store until they plugged it in and proved to me beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was not a dud. Smart plan. Exactly. Because I was like, I'm not coming back down here a third time. Or if I am, I'm coming guns blazing. <laughs> like, <laughs> that place is going to get lit up if I don't get a good modem. So they gave me a good one. So then I came back up here and got it installed and everything like that. Good, great. And we're all happy schoolgirls with shiny new vibrators. Ooh. So, yeah, exactly. So we got the modem up and going. When we brought all our stuff down here to start doing the podcast, and this is after you sh- after you came over, yeah, we found out that on this modem we can have both the WPA version of the connection and the WPA two version of of the wireless. And with your old modem, we could only do one. We could only do one or yeah, the other, which sucks. Which sucks because Nick's desktop, which he has down here, because again, how the fuck are you going to have a desktop computer in a car? <laughs> uh, so that's down here, only works if you have it through a WPA. Yeah, because it's nine years old. Exactly. But my laptop, well, my laptop it'll work on, but it won't work on our cell phones. Self, our cell phones require a WPA too. So, so we were so always like. Update. 
Yeah. So we were shocks. Yeah. So we were always just like, well, fuck, one of us has got to tug our dicks and one of us doesn't get to because we either, it's guys, <laughs> it's either got to be one or the other. But with this new modem, now we can have the best of all worlds. We both get to tug our dinks exactly. and talk to you at the exact same time. So really, what could possibly be wrong with that? What could be wrong with that? I don't even know. Exactly. I so, can't even tell you. So now we're all just going and we're all happy and everything's working and it's like, it's like this is technologically, it's like the best day ever because it's like we got something that finally serves all of the needs that we have for both the podcast and our daily pornographic lives. Yeah. So, I mean, everything works. Everything. Hooray. Hooray. All right. It's awesome. Exactly. It is awesome. Um, you may, uh, remember as well that I, uh, from the last podcast, if you listened to it, I was going through a bit of a cell phone fucking saga, which has finally been you broke rectified. Your phone. Exactly. You cracked it. But before we get into that, you I want you it. to talk about the new stuff that's going on in your life. Me, new stuff in my life. Exactly. I have personal stuff that I did in my life to change the ways that I live. Exactly. Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> But you already knew that. <laughs> I don't. Th- I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that is uh, uh, a surprise to anyone that listens to this oh, podcast man. with any frequency. <laughs> so, if you all know, which if you listen to the past podcast, you really know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to work at McDonald's in Bridgewater. I worked there for about three and a half months. Hated it. I guess that was that was that long, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hated it. Well, not really hated it. The people were good to work with. It's just I worked night shifts. Plus, there was another guy that worked there named Stevenson, which is really confusing. Yeah, <laughs> and Stevenson is an awesome guy. Right on. I tell you, we're going to hang out tomorrow. So shout out to fucking Stevenson because he's he's a he's a good guy working in a shit place. Yeah. So since I'm working night shifts, which is eleven to seven thirty, I get to listen to all the drunks coming through mm-hmm. how to deal with walkthroughs which i fucking hate people walk that walk through the drive through they walk through oh. the drive through i hate that so much if you're a person that walks through a drive through you're like the worst kind of person i know and there's a couple people that i hate working with as well on night shifts okay that just drove me to the point that you know what i can literally go back to a call center and be happy and when you can say that, <laughs> yeah, that's fucking scary as shit. That is. So I was looking on uh, the job bank, and I was like, OLS Liverpool, that was, th- and OLS Liverpool was the first job that I had once I lost my job with Securitas and moved back down here. Uh-huh. Basically, I put my application in one day. They called me the next day for an interview. That's pretty awesome. I, I, yeah, I went in. They're like, "You you already worked here before." I'm like, "Yeah." They go, "You want to come back?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> that was basically the interview. That was the extent. <laughs> that was the extent of the interview process. Yeah. You want to come back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was basically it. That's awesome. So I started training. I. Uh, <laughs> You just go from like a non-interview to starting training. That's pretty awesome. I still have two more shifts left at McDonald's before I leave, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Uh, pretty sure I'm not going to work them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. If if I do, I'm working Saturday, but not Sunday because Sunday it's Sunday going into Monday morning. Yeah. And I gotta be back into Liverpool. Uh, I see. Yeah. You should. Whatever your last shift is, just go in rip roaring drunk. Just fucking out of your mind. Like, just fucking, I just got kicked out of the fucking lower deck and I'm going home because I've had enough. That level of drunk. That level of drunk. You need to get so drunk that you are just like jerking off into people's big (laughs) dicks. Just for the hell of it. You want some special (laughs) sauce? Sorry, we're out of the Big Mac sauce, but here's a Nick special. (laughs) Here's a Nick special. (laughs) You really need to do that. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm giving you so many ideas. I know you are. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. (laughs) 
<laughs> but okay, so you've got you got two shifts of McDonald's left. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, which I'm probably not going to do. Just throwing it out there now. Um, also looking at a new vehicle, mm. which is nice. I have a 2011 Honda Civic Coupe. Hashtag Civic Nation. Hashtag Civic Nation. Hashtag awesome. Hashtag boner. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Exactly. And I was looking at the new Hondas, the 2013. I lease my Honda now. Uh, yeah. I got like two and a half years still on it. So I went out and talked to the dealer. I'm like... I want to return this, and I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, you can return your Honda any time. And I'm like, really? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And I go, give me a price on that one. And it's like 20 bucks more than I'm paying. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Yeah. Nice. And it will be finance now, not least. So it's in my name. Oh, oh. man. That's fucking dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very oh, yeah. cool. And another thing. Another thing. Shit's just popping you in got, my life, man. Nick's, Nick's life has taken Shit's off just, like my boner in a strip club. Oh, it's just man. bam. This, this is unconfirmed yet because I don't know, but it's like 75% kind of sure you are the new ucw heavyweight champion <laughs> i could probably get it <laughs> you know all you have to do is pay chuck martin 10 bucks <laughs> you could be the new champ you'd only have to wrestle maritime menace i oh, mean yeah. chuck i mean maritime menace. <laughs> anyways <laughs> that one was for you doug robar you better listen to the fucking podcast from now on dick face <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> but I may have a place to live in Liverpool, Ooh. which is really nice. It's it's a house down on. Uh, it's actually on the exact same street that the call center is on. Before nice. you turn on to the actual street that the call center is on, right? If that makes sense, it does. I yeah. get you. It's a nice house. Got it's uh, the guy. He's grandfathered in, even though it's in the town limits. Okay. He, uh, now, can you can you explain for people exactly what that means? Grandfathered in, in case they don't know. Uh, if you're in town limits, you're only allowed, I believe, um, it goes by the acre. Okay. How many livestock you're allowed to have? Like, if you have one acre, you're allowed to have one livestock. I see. But since he's grandfathered in to the uh, to the property, um, he's allowed to have. As many livestock as he wants. And nice. he has a barn on the property. He has a stable. So, I mean, it, it's a big fucking property. Right. And if I go there, I got the run of the whole house. Sweet. Friggin and it's a nice house. Nice. I got it renovated. It's actually up for sale, but uh, he's told me that it's been up for sale for like a year and a half now. So he doesn't <laughs> predict that it's going anywhere in the <laughs> not so distant future. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> nice. I'm yeah. liking it. So shit's just everything's coming up Nick today. Exactly. Now I have a couple of questions Shoot. based on your stories. Okay. Question number one. Yes. Will you on this podcast name drop the people at your old work at McDonald's that you don't like working with? Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> wow. No Heather? fucking no fucking hesitation. Uh so we have we have Kathy and Heather. Yeah, Les can be a dick sometimes. Okay, Les, Les, stop being a dick. Yeah, um, you are a selfish dickhole. Th- those are only the real three people. Okay. Uh, Jenna O can be crabby at times, but okay. anytime she crabs at me, I'm l- I just laugh at her and chew her out of the kitchen. Nice. Good. That's so. that's that's the way it should be. Yeah. Get out of my kitchen, bitch. Exactly. Or get the fuck out of my, my kitchen. kitchen anymore, bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> go away and go away now. <laughs> you said it. Go away now, please. <laughs> go, please. You are gone, please. You you are gone. Exactly. Okay. Gone, gone, um, going, gone. Question number two. Jude. Since you're going to be going to a place that has livestock, 
Yes. Are you at all concerned about the possibility of exploring sexuality with animals while you are living there? No. Okay. Good. I just wanted to make that. <laughs> I just wanted. I just wanted some clear boundaries uh, to be established uh, on the No Holds Barred podcast uh, <laughs> that Nick does not, in fact, have sex with animals, even when they're at his disposal. So. <laughs> We have now established that, and we're going to be moving on. Okay. okay. Moving on. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> uh, Is that but, all the questions? They, I, they, I think I only had two Okay, from here. But I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. All of those stories just fill the cockles and subcockles of my heart. Because, yes. because you know, and you, you deserve good down shit. Liverpool too. I might, I might be going down to Liverpool too. There's a teaching position down there that I have applied for. So who knows? I might end up getting that. So I could be down in Liverpool too, and it might be, it might be all good. I believe our internet connection has once again crapped out. Uh, yep, I believe it has. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm showing, I'm showing no internet on this as well. Well, well that's unfortunate. Going, yeah, exactly. Going. Uh, unfortunate for our, uh, any Ustream viewers that we may have had, but probably didn't. Uh, we promise we will work it out for you next time and we won't have these, uh, connectivity drops. It could also, it could also partially be because of the heat too. Like, be. I mean, it's possible, but in any case, we'll work that out for next time. Many apologies. So the end of my cell phone saga. From what I mentioned to you the last time on the podcast, we got right up to the point where uh, LG, or sorry, uh, TELUS had told me that um, they didn't know whether they could actually send my phone away to be repaired at their, like with their repair guy and everything like that. Uh, if for those of you that didn't know, uh, at the last twin city wrestling show the one that was up at the big x in the big x main building i dropped my phone it fell right perfectly on a corner where even though the phone has gator glass or gorilla glass i keep calling it gator glass (laughs) it's gorilla glass that you're literally supposed to like be able to nail it right on the corner of something and it's not supposed to break Uh, but it hit like right at the perfect point and broke clear across the screen yeah Total phone, totally unusable, total fucking write-off. Anyways, um, so that happened, and TELUS didn't know what they were going to be able to do for me, and they suggested that I got in touch with LG, who makes my phone, to see if they would give me a deal on a screen or give me a deal on a repair. So I call LG, and LG comes back and tells me that... uh, like oh we have uh we have three repair centers in Canada. I was like okay, so it's not as simple as like sending my phone to Halifax. He's like no, we have two in Ontario and one in BC. And I was like well fuck. <laughs> How is that convenient for like, to me today? I was like I don't believe that's. I was like all right whatever. <laughs> um so he gave me like the address and contact information and everything for one of the ones in Ontario. I believe it was the one in Markham. Shout out to everyone in Markham, Ontario. Um so. Uh, so this was this was like basically all that he could tell me, and he was like, uh, uh, "We have no idea how much it's going to cost to have it repaired, uh, and we have no idea how long it's going to be until you get your phone back." And I was like, "Okay, well, can, like, can you give me a ballpark as to like like price or estimated time or yeah. whatever?" And he was like, uh, "No, we we don't give you numbers. That's why we have repair centers." Well, that's stupid. And I was just like, "What the fuck? What does that even mean? That's like that doesn't." <laughs> Like what? What does? How does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? No. Then how can it make sense to me? Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I didn't get it. They so, don't know what they're talking exactly. about. Exactly. So LG was no fucking help. Um. So basically, what ended up happening was I ended up taking my phone into Telus and saying, "Okay, here's the deal, guys. Um, let's." Uh, just send it away to wherever you need to send it, and you guys give me a loaner phone. And they said, okay, we can do that. And the loaner phone, by the way, was free, which was very nice. The loaner phone was free. Yeah. And I authorized them for 150 bucks. So I said, take the, take the phone, give, uh, repair the phone if it's less than 150 bucks. If it's more than that, get, in t- give, uh, get a quote, get in touch with me, and I'll say yes or no. Yeah. 
So they gave me a loaner phone, which I had for a couple of days. It was a little Samsung. I think it was one of the original Samsung Galaxies. Okay. So it was like... Nice, nice phone. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Not bad. It's all right. Um, small. It was... It was... It wasn't... And I, and I mean, I like I have big... I have big fat hands. Yeah. And big fat fingers, especially. So ladies. Uh, yeah. So, but like, you know, it wasn't good to have a small phone. So texting was a goddamn nightmare. You know what they say about guys with small phones? Exactly. Small pain. Small shush. dicks. Exactly. So, I mean, I didn't like that one little bit. Um, but like just trying to do anything on that phone was just a goddamn nightmare because <laughs> of big fat fingers. So like I, I could barely text. I was making spelling mistakes all over the place. I was just like, fuck, but whatever. It's only going to be for probably a couple of weeks. So whatever I'll manage. Mm. I had the phone for all of about 28 hours <laughs> until it fucking starts power cycling itself. Just starts shutting itself on and off. Loner phone, power cycle. Power cycle. Victim of 9-11, power cycle. <laughs> Probably the worst, most offensive joke that either one of us have ever come up with. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so, wow. yeah, the phone just kept turning itself on and off. Like, it would be on for, like, two minutes, and then it would just do it. So I took a, I took that back down to TELUS. I've now, at this point, visited TELUS every day in, like, a five-day span. <laughs> at least once. Did they know you by name? No, but they knew me by face, and the same girl was working like every single day really so every time she looked up at me she was just like oh no what happened now like <laughs> she wasn't she wasn't uh, pissed off to see me i think she was more surprised she was just like oh my god what happened now yeah so i went in and she was just like what's wrong what happened now i was like the fucking loaner phone you gave me is shutting itself on and off she's like <laughs> she's like she looked at me she was like seriously <laughs> It's like fucking yes. I don't. I don't understand how this is, why it's doing what it's doing. I don't like it. <laughs> so what I did was I scrounged up my my old phone, the one that I had before I got this one. Right. The, ooh, hey, I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> hey, now. I pulled out my uh, Shit's pulled out my just headphones. Just popping out of your ear. My bad. <laughs> Shit <laughs> popping out of my ear on the No Holds Barred podcast. Um. So yeah, so I got my old phone that I one that I had for three years, and uh, I was just like, "Can we just move it onto this one?" And she was like, "Oh, where'd you get that?" I was like, "It's my old one." She's mm -hmm. like, "Oh yeah, that's perfect." And it takes a SIM, so we just pop the fucking SIM right in. So here I am using my like four year old phone that's better than the loners that they give out to people, which is nice. kind of sad because it's not very good anymore. It's an LG something c710 or something like that it's a slider phone oh, yeah. but i was used to it so what whatevs so i used that for it was, about, it was only about four or five days so it wasn't bad the actual repair time on it was pretty good um they called me back within a couple of days and they were like this is what it's going to cost you to get your phone fixed and after like all the taxes and fees and everything like that it was almost 250 bucks to get the fucking phone fixed. Ouch. Yeah, it didn't it didn't feel good. Of course, genius me did not have the foresight, as we mentioned in the last podcast, to purchase insurance. <laughs> uh did so, you yeah. now? No. I got my own special kind of insurance. I said if it happened again, I was gonna come in and rape them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um but we'll we'll talk about my other insurance here in a second. So so they gave me the quote. I said yes to it. I went down and I paid it. And at the same time as I, when I paid it, I bought an OtterBox. OtterBox case. Uh, it's not the OtterBox Defender, which is like, can basically do everything but take a fucking bullet. Like <laughs> this, but it's the um, Commuter, I think it is. Okay. So it's it's a little, it's supposed to be a little more stylish. Sleeker. It's a little sleeker and Shexier. more stylish. But Beats in your pocket and makes it look like your boner is bigger. Exactly. But it's, it's the other box. It's still supposed LG. to be able. <laughs> God damn it. Um, it it's, you're still supposed to be able to like run over it with your car and it'll still be fine. So whatevs. It's good enough. So that was another 50 bucks almost. So here I am. I paid almost 300 bucks in total to get, to get my phone fixed. So it uh, took about like, 
like I said, probably four or five days or something like that to get it fixed. They sent it back very quickly. So I fucking got my phone back. Finally. Thank God. The, the horror is over. Now, was everything reset on it? Yes. So I lost all my contacts, all my pictures, videos, everything. Uh, porn? I didn't have much porn on it. I had a couple of naked pictures of this one chick from California. But other than that, so I, yeah, I lost those, but I had them on my computer anyway. Okay. So it's all good. But like, I couldn't even like do a media sync because like on b- before I took the phone back because I, the phone was non-usable. Like yeah. you have to actually select that on the fucking yeah, touch screen. Yeah. So you, so I couldn't <laughs> even do that, which is a fucking piss off. But in any case, it's all fixed now and I have my phone back and everybody's happy. Yay. So in conclusion, buy the fucking insurance. <laughs> yes. I had the insurance. It's like Everybody four dollars. the insurance. It's like $4 a month, guys. Just do it. Just buy the fucking insurance. Buy it. 